Humans like to make promises they can't guarantee and lead you to believe they care about you. Unions have grown to become multi-million dollar organizations that operate much like a large business, generate revenue paid for through dues and initiation fees. Dues and fees that you have to pay. Dues and initiation fees that can be raised at any time and for any reason so the union can continue to make a profit. The dues and fees come directly from your paycheck. I don't know about you, but I work hard for what I make and I don't want my paycheck reduced. Unions collect fees and dues for promises with no guarantee. And if that's not enough, unions put a wedge between employees and their supervisors and reduce the flexibility you have today from your direct relationship with your manager. A union would require you to resolve your work concerns through the union, which unlike your manager, may be unfamiliar with individual activities, needs, and daily expectations. And if you don't like the union's answer to your concern, you could be considered disloyal to the union and could be disciplined or fined. This doesn't sound like a good way to resolve workplace issues. For example, let's say you have a temporary personal situation that requires you to adjust your schedule. You most likely wouldn't be able to resolve this directly with your manager. What is now a simple conversation with your manager would take multiple steps through the union to try and change your work schedule. It's not always a quick process, and often takes time. The unions are big businesses, and because the percentage of unionized workers has dropped significantly over the years, they need your dues and other initiation fees more than ever just to stay in business. To do that, they aggressively try to recruit you and other employees and convince you that Dollar General won't do the right things for you. Before coming to Dollar General, I worked at a company that became unionized. I got to witness their tactics firsthand. The unions try to organize employees and push their agenda, and come with lots of promises to try to convince employees to sign authorization cards. Unions might tell employees that signing the card doesn't mean much. They might tell employees that by signing the card, they're just agreeing to receive more information about the union. Don't be fooled. Most cards authorize the union to represent you, and some cards even state that it is legally binding document. Unions may also use websites and emails to approach employees. If curious, click up a box or show up interest in an email, it can be used as an electronic signature. If you sign or click on an authorization card, you lose control of how it's used. It's a legal document. It isn't just used to request an election. No matter how it's obtained, once you sign an authorization card, it's almost impossible to get it back from the union. If you're ever approached, pay close attention to the information that is given to you and do your own research. Your signature is far too valuable. Unions only need to acquire 30% of the employee signatures to hold a vote to try to represent employees. In fact, sometimes with enough signatures, a vote may not be necessary for the union to be recognized. I had to pay initiation fees and dues for a union that I didn't want to join. The money for the initiation fee and the dues was automatically taken out of my paycheck. I have a family to support, and I depend on my full paycheck to make sure there's food on our table. I couldn't talk to my manager about it. She had no power to change anything. It quickly became a negative environment that I no longer wanted to work in, especially when my paycheck was cut because of my mandatory dues payments. I couldn't afford those payments, but when I expressed my frustration to the union, I was told they have no choice. In the end, the union expected me to participate in a strike and work picket line duty, which would have completely eliminated my paycheck. How was that looking out for me? So what are your options if a union representative approaches you? Dollar General prohibits solicitation by third parties on Dollar General property for any purpose. No one should be allowed to hassle you at your workplace. Additionally, you don't have to speak to the union, and you certainly don't have to accept or sign anything they give you. Unions invest time and money to get one thing, your signature. Remember that your signature is valuable and can represent more than just your casual interest. With enough signatures, you and the rest of your team could end up with a union that you may not want. We believe there is no need for a union at Dollar General. Remember that your manager's door is always open, and he or she is always willing to discuss any questions or concerns you may have. Of course, if you don't feel you can speak with your manager, there are several places to go to have your voice heard, such as the Employee Response Center, or ERC, and Human Resources Support. As you complete this training module, please remember two key things. Dollar General values all employees, their growth and their success, and understands the benefits that come from a direct relationship with your employees across the company. Always be aware of what you're asked to sign 
and understand what it means. Take your time and ask. So, how does Dollar General feel about unions? We value the individual relationships we have and develop with our employees. We've been able to grow and succeed while other companies have struggled. For over 75 years, Dollar General has not only been investing in the growth of new stores, but also the growth and development of its people. That's because we believe in everyone's ability to succeed, and we want to help you pursue your career goals no matter where you are on your journey. We treat each employee as a valued and unique member of our family, and stand behind them when they struggle and when they succeed in their professional and personal life. When they struggle, the door is always open to talk with a manager who knows them and is invested in their success. Every job will have challenging moments, and unions don't change that. But I know my sales associates really value being able to express themselves openly with me for quick results. It makes both of us feel in control of any situation and their future here. I like what I do, and the opportunities for growth here are unlimited. I'm proud of what Dollar General can offer our customers, our community, and its employees. It's great to work for a company that has stood the test of time and maintained its core values, not because a union has forced them but because Dollar General believes it's the right thing to do.